Here I have a mass on a string which I'm spinning in a circle. It's going at constant speed, or well, at least as constant as I can make it. That's the definition of centripetal motion. Circular motion at constant speed. So the question I have for you is, if I want this mass to go straight up in the air, at which point along its trajectory should I release it? At the top? Seems logical. Let's try. Whoa! That didn't go up. That went straight this way. Hmm. Let's try maybe the bottom. Might as well go opposite. Went that way. So, when it's at the top, it goes this way. When, if I release it right at the top, when it's at the bottom and I release it, it goes that way. Hmm, I'm thinking of releasing it right here. Let's try. So I'll release it right here. Straight up. Aha! Now let's understand why. So here's the motion of the mass on the eraser. And let's, let's draw the center of the circle. And let's draw in the velocity vector. So we know at the top, it went this way. At the bottom, it went that way. And when I released it right here, it went straight up. These are the instantaneous velocities at these three points, respectively. And for completeness, I'll draw in this one as well. Well, the reason, I mean, the whole thing, I should say, is going in a circle, as you probably noticed. And the reason this was the correct place to release it, if I wanted to go straight up, is because at this point on its motion, the instantaneous velocity is going here, and the only reason it stays in a circle is because I have it tied to a string, and the string provides the inward force that brings it back into a circle. So if there was no force of tension here, it would just continue on its natural motion, straight line path. Its inertia would take it in that direction. That's Newton's first law. So its inertia want, wants to go this way, but there's a force that then brings it into the circle. And then same thing here, the force brings it in. So this force of tension, which is the centripetal force in this case, centripetal force happens to equal the force of tension here, but it can equal many things. It's, a, it's an umbrella term for any force that causes the object to go undergo centripetal motion. For example, the Earth goes approximately goes in a circle around the sun. What's the centripetal force there? Well, it's the force of gravity. There you go. Brief explanation of centripetal motion.